So um, here we go again, NHS hat up to the usual tactics. Um, I don't know if you know uh, my pal, he's in hospital. Um, a roving reporter, Roland. He's currently in med by hospital, being held against his will. I've just been speaking with the uh, family. He's got full mental capacity. I just heard that, the doctor in the background, or the lead consultant, saying he's got full mental capacity. He's um, been put on a CPAP machine. He's got COPD. He refused a COVID um, test. They're treating him as if he's got COVID. They put him into an isolation ward. Uh, he wants to leave, and they won't allow him. We've had um, some intervention via a... A specialist in this area to provide aftercare for people um, when they leave hospital. Um, come to that way. Um, when they leave hospital, uh, to provide them with the treatments, medication, uh, nutrients, uh, oxygen if being required, and they've refused it. Yesterday they said that they can get him the oxygen they need. Him, but it take about five hours. That was yesterday morning. Um, oh, sorry, yesterday at five. Was it five o'clock? Said it would take five hours anyway, it'd be about nine o'clock, I could have got it done. Well, all day today, um, they've, uh, they're still keeping him. He's still got capacity, but we know what they're going to do. They're going to drug him up so he ain't got capacity, so they take full control. They're already talking, trying to persuade him. He was on the phone to Roland earlier. They were trying to persuade him to go onto a ventilator, and he's clearly stating, I don't want to go on a ventilator. And we know what happened with Paul. Um, <sighs> phone the police. Police have been phoned because habeas corpus is, is kidnapped. They hold him against his will. Uh, police said they're not medically trained, they can't get involved. Um, so I'm sure that if uh, anyone kicks off in there, anyone tries to get into the ward, they'll soon be there and, uh, and arrest them. Um, the family is very calm, dealing with it, not giving them any excuse. Um, they're denying them, denying them access to him. Treat him like he's got COVID and won't allow him to leave. Um, so, yeah, it's another case. Um, if we can't get him out today, because all he's got to do is all that all the hospital should be doing is asking Roland outright, while he's got full capacity, uh, do you want to go home? Do you want to discharge yourself? Yes. Um, give him the discharge papers to take full liability and that's it they've got to discharge him with whatever treatment if he needs oxygen they've got to give him the oxygen if he wants to go home to die if they say he's going to die he can go home it's his choice but from experience this year I know where this is going oh, I hope it ain't going this way I drug him up so he has got capacity and then they ventilate him because they get paid money for the ventilators. They've already they've already lied. There's a video. I'll um I'll see if I can upload it um, from the interaction with him yesterday, uh, where they falsified the documents saying that they put COVID on his on his medical notes when he hasn't even had a, a COVID test. So uh, yeah, another uh, another example of the National Harm Service. Um, update on Paul. Paul's hanging in there. They've taken him off the COVID death pathway uh, and they seem to be putting him on a bit of a health pathway. Um, Debbie can see him three times a week. Um, he was better. Um, better than what he was last time, but he still looks now like a, an 80 year old man. He's wasted away. Where they've put him in the uh, unnecessary uh, coma. Um, and I'm still on bowel conditions, not allowed to contact, communicate, um, or go near any NHS building. In fact, the police have just put a, another application in to extend my bowel for another six months. Um, they're also insinuating in the bowel application that I was the reason, the cause of why Paul removed his oxygen mask, what caused him to go into decline. Um, and for him to be put on a life support machine where he, where he will die shortly is what um, Detective Constable Stephen Cassidy has put in his uh, witness statement. So we know where they're going with this. 
If Paul dies in hospital, they're going to try and put a charge on me for assisted manslaughter. But <laughs> they haven't watched the video, clearly. Because if they had, they could see that it was... Uh, yes, I do. Um, they'd see that it's, I, haven't, I haven't caused anything. Paul wanted to take the mask off. Paul wanted to go home. Same as this guy this, does. Um, but still, day in the life. Um, right, that's about it, I think. So um, I'll keep you posted on Roland and um, and Paul as and when more information comes in. It's got to stop. Murder, out and out murder. Not giving them correct treatments. Just following protocol. Let's pray for uh, Paul and Roland, everyone. Keep positive. Over and out.